Hi everyone, and today I'm talking about Dell Data Protection. This is the Endpoint Security Suite Enterprise Edition. The Enterprise Security Suite consists of three core components. Advanced Threat Protection against malware, viruses and ransomware. Advanced Authentication and also Encryption. And what I'm going to do is talk more about each of these individual components. So going from right to left, starting with Advanced Authentication. The Dell Data Protection Suite of tools supports advanced hardware authentication such as Dell's fully integrated fingerprint, smart card or contact the smart card reader options. These security tools help manage these multiple hardware authentication methods supporting pre-OS login with self-encrypting drives, single sign-on and managing user credentials and passwords. The ability to reset a, pa a Windows password by an authorised smartphone is just one example of how these security tools can help enable users while minimising the help desk calls. Next we have the encryption. So this is enterprise edition encryption and this provides a data centric policy based approach to encryption. This protects the data without disrupting IT processes or the end user's productivity. The application is very light and it only encrypts the data, not the drives, that's critical here, and it encrypts the data at rest in the cloud or on the fly and also going to external media. It's a hassle-free way of introducing compliance. The Enterprise Edition delivers a high level of protection, fills critical security gaps and allows you to manage encryption policies for multiple endpoints and operating systems all from a single management console. And finally we have our advanced threat protection. So I'm about to show you a video in a minute of our advanced threat protection versus traditional signature based antivirus. So this just happens to be McAfee. But this test applies to all signature based antivirus. So what's happened is antivirus has been around for about 15 years, maybe a bit longer. And the technology is old. It hasn't kept up to date with current threats, the way that organizations have been targeted. And our offering around advanced threat protection is market leading with 99.2% efficiency. Traditional AV is about 40 to 50% efficient. So hopefully this video shows how powerful our product is and how weak traditional signature based antivirus is. So here we have my demo environment. I've got a server and I've also got two virtual machines running. TP is the McAfee protected desktop. Okay, and then I've also got an ATP, which is the Advanced Threat Protection by Dell protected machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some malware. This is known malware, so um, this is just to show how easy it is to repackage malware and also fool um, traditional AV. So it's a bit signature based. So it's an innocent file, it's a PDF called um, Invoice, something that's going to receive. If we drop it into this uh, software, you can see it's a known piece of malware known by all the major antivirus manufacturers okay so this won't be a threat to a system so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extract that take that file and I'm going to drop it into both the McAfee system and into the Dell Advanced Threat Protection System so I'm not going to explode it and run the malware because I don't know obviously um, do anything to this demonstration so as you can see what happened there is in the in the McAfee environment I copied the folder across it was scanned by the antivirus, detected its signature as a known threat and put it into quarantine. So I'm going to go through the same process, bring that across onto the um, Dell Advanced Threat Protection Protected Virtual Machine. And again, what's happening now is it's not looking for a signature. The system is looking at the file. It's looking for 600,000 different attributes across 16,000 dimensions. So this isn't heuristics. This isn't... Uh, behavioral or analytic this is actually looking at the DNA of a file and identifying if it's a threat so it doesn't require a signature so as you can see it's removed it there so thumbs up for both McAfee traditional antivirus and also Dell data protection so now what I'm going to show you how easy it is to repackage you no know, malware with a click of a play button which could be done by a 10 year old and actually made that into a new threat that will actually sit within the McAfee environment as I mentioned this is known malware you know, there's a lot of unknown malware on there that's the real danger. So this is a point to show that, yes, if it, if it exploded it in the environment, it wouldn't do any damage because McAfee knows it. However, it's the fact that, you know, there's a lot of unknown viruses, malware, ransomware out there. And this just shows the weakness of Signature Bay. So all I'm doing there is when I've exported it, it's given it another... Um, 
extension so I've just renamed that to match so now basically what I've done is by repackaging it I've changed the signature so now in the McAfee environment I'm going to drag and drop that as I did before so all I've done is all I've done is changed the um, the repackaging it's the exact same threat with inside that package I'm going to drag and drop it into both so the same experiment as I ran before so before both were picked up both were quarantined now I'll do the same process now so the, this is the, within the Delavant threat protection environment that is a uh, doing its thing, so just leave it to uh, analyse the file and what will happen is, like I said, it's looking at the DNA of the file and it will see that that is a threat and there we go, it's been moved into quarantine now, McAfee system, that is still sat there, that will sit there all day long and McAfee will not pick that up as being a danger okay, so, as I mentioned, there's a central management console for all the enterprise suite uh, including McAfee when bought through Dell. So I'm going to go into, into this management console. This is where you can manage your authentication, your encryption, and also the advanced threat protection. Um, so I'm just going to. All I'm going to do here is log on to the environments, and I'm going to look at the known threat that was picked up and removed by both systems, and also look at the threat I created within Virus Total. And you'll be surprised at the results. So just bear one second. This is a, a bit slow. You need to click through the tabs. It's a management um, server in the US, so it takes a little bit of time. So you need to go to advanced events. So there we go. So you can see the original that's known. So if I click on here and go to virus total, as you can see, it's a well known virus known by most of the uh, traditional antivirus players, you know, which you'd expect. But the. Uh, alarming thing is when I jump back to look at the uh, one I've just created so there we go it's seen so just jump back here so if we go to the uh, one I created just now with repackaging it it does not show up as a known virus or piece of malware so this just goes to show that the, the traditional method of signature bases and reporting on virus total and building a, a, a signature doesn't work So as you can see with the Dell Enterprise Protection Suite, not only do you get the most advanced anti-malware, anti-ransomware, antivirus package, we also get the market leading encryption to protect your data and your critical data no matter where it resides, and also advanced authentication to ensure the right people are getting access to the right devices. So all in all this suite is cost comparable against just buying traditional antivirus. And as I've demonstrated in this video, traditional antivirus no longer works. It's no longer fit for purpose for the modern business and the modern threats that are out there. 99.2% efficient, which can't be matched by normal signature-based AV. So if security threats are growing concern to you and your business, I highly recommend that on your endpoint devices you deploy the Dell Enterprise Endpoint Protection Suite. With its multiple levels of protection, with advanced authentication, day-centric level encryption and advanced threat protection is a perfect tool for first-line events against the growing threats.